Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And I'm Captain Emoji. And we are back with Dandara. Just Here in the, the village of artists. Yeah. We've unlocked music boxes that open doors and uh, paintings that move platforms, I think, so far. So far. Not really sure how to deal with those guys in any meaningful way other than just not be where they are. <laughs> yeah, I think that's how those guys work. So. <laughs> hmm. Just backtracking a little bit in good Metroidvania fashion. Makes sense. Did you notice that the scenery on the little platform that you're on moves? Like a little animation or something there? Oh, neat. Yeah, little clouds and like trees and junk. Just very neat. It's a nice touch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't get back through there because the buttons. Huh. That's annoying. So that door is one way. That is to get you out. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Just noticing that your weapon shoots out of, like, your hand. Mm-hmm. Like a Dragon Ball Key Blast. Okay, so... Still no idea how to get down that hallway that they're doing. In the previous room. Oh, yeah. Have to fight the bad guys. <laughs> I mean, they were just chilling, so I kind of forgot they were for a minute. Oh no! Rose died of last memory of sadness. That's sad. Yeah. I'm also curious what happened in this particular room. Yeah. Like, that room didn't seem like it had anything terribly bad in it. I'm wondering if there was like a an effect, like poison or something, that finally caught up with them, or could have been. Oop. Nice shot. Oh, was there a treasure chest in that past room, or had you already opened nah, it? I had already opened it. Kind of looked like it was open, but it's hard to tell. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go up. Probably. Maybe. Or the very least steps to the direction we haven't done. <laughs> well, like you said, it's a Metroidvania kind of deal. <sighs> Backtracking's never a bad call. I like that. Yeah. Good little timing there. But yeah, if you hadn't backtracked, you would have found that person. True. And their sadness. Oh, get up there. Hmm. Oof. That looked like it was going to be a little close. Just dead. They're like little jackal people, like tiny Anubises. Yeah. Okay, if we go up through here and head out the other side, we'll be in a new... Hey, there's a cow. There is a cow. Hey, cow. Just sort of hanging out, being a cow. Well, I can't break concrete, so this cave is useless. Huh. I wonder if maybe that's a power-up for your weapon, or... 
Could be. Were you going to try the, the side door, or was that the one that... Uh, side door goes over there to that big area. But I can't uh, refill my health, so that's a good call. Don't have quite enough salt for an upgrade. But full health is always nice. <laughs> So it seems like you have to do something with that concrete to really progress any further up. Yeah. At least in that direction. I like the little cupcake graffiti person. Thank you. Yeah. Gonna have a bad day. <laughs> oh, takes more than one to kill them. That's the first time I've only seen you hit him with one of the arrows, so I did not know that. Pop. a couple unexplored doors over here. Yeah. Oh, that one's a different color, and it shoots a, a ground-based attack that goes all the way around, even. So, what's over here? Donna Clara's Restaurant. Kind of looks like someone's, like, personal studio. The Samba Hotel. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. There's a lot going on there. Oh, there's an eyeball watching you. I don't think that's always been there. Did you see that? I did. Kind of creepy. Dancing triplets. I mean, it's a nice couch, but... That's about it, yeah. Uh-oh. I can't get out. I was just thinking the same thing. I'm like, uh... Oh, is that a button at the top there? No, it's another door. Oh. Hmm. It's in this door. Mind cross. It's a different happy cupcake, and he's pointing up. Some interesting weird little dead end rooms. Yeah. How do I go up? <laughs> All right. Now we're over here. Thank God for that map. Right. I would have no idea where we were without it. Alright. Hmm.
Okay, but how do I... Oh, it's Dolores. That's... Despondency. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Lots of sads. Lots of feels. Do you get salt from the boxes that you blow up? Yeah. There's another one of them door things. Well, yep. that's going to be annoying. Yep. Oh, the um, oh, I see. It. Anubis thing down there that shoots all the way around the corner. Yeah. That's certainly thing. Well, I mean, he's not going to get any easier after this. That's true. Nice. Just trade that hit in. That being said, I think this was the only way to get to that door, so... Gotta be something good, right? Oh, well, maybe. Okay. Interesting. It definitely doesn't want you to stay put very long, because... No, it doesn't. All the floor was going to be uh, the electrified, electrified kind. Alright. Well, that's a thing. Hey, treasure chest. Yeah. What'd you get? Just salt. Hmm. Oh. Plus that, I don't have to go back there. True. So let's see what goes this way. That one way street again. This is the one where we couldn't get the right. Oh, oh, that's okay. Reddish blow. really just take me back to the one way street. Seems like a flaw. Hmm. A lot of stuff that loops back in on itself all of a sudden. On the other hand, it'll make inevitably double doubling back easier. On the other hand, moving forward is uh, being uh, a, bit a, bit a, a bit obstinate. Yeah. Oh! You have a new third type of those Anubis dudes. The ones in red actually shoot those uh, boss style projectiles. Alright. So 
Okay, so there's a lot going on there. Yeah. Decided to go for that one? Yeah. I came in the other way once. So. Oh. That gets us where the muffin was pointing. That's true. What does the muffin know? It knows that I'm not actually terribly good at video games, so I could probably kill myself this corridor. <laughs> You're doing a pretty good job of proving it wrong so far. Well, that was fun. <laughs> uh, I think those are going to be interesting later when you're not on the other side of a wall. Hmm. Okay. Now let's go through door number one and see what we get. Got failure. This was the wrong option. Dang it! Reza, Reza. Those one-way doors are kind of a bummer. pretty quick. And there you are. Yeah, yours just say serious injuries, but like, the ones you've run into elsewhere, like, sadness, or, you know, fear of failure, or, you know, like a list of things you'd tell your therapist that you're worried about. Yeah. So I'm wondering if people see your deaths with some kind of, you know, more abstract thinking on what happened. Okay, so... What happens when we go through this <laughs> door? There's a treasure chest for one. Ooh, we got a straight up upgrade. What do we got? Ah, a second health potion. Nice. That's handy. OK. 
Okay. Gotcha now. So that's how diagonally. Can... Yeah. That looks like a bit of a gauntlet. <laughs> I'm back over here. I don't want to deal with you guys. <laughs> the charge ones seem nice at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got him. Yeah. Now, what do we got through this door? Hey, you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, let's talk, Johnny B. I wonder if he's a sculptor, maybe? That would make sense. Oh, and he made the walls. And yeah, that didn't work out. Oh, they create rules. Okay. Playful and fun rules, huh? Alright, what do we got? A drill to pierce the heavens. Johnny B missiles. An explosive concoction of engineering and creativity. Huh. Okay, so... Weapon energy, then. Neat. Very cool. It does use a fair bit of energy, though. Yes, but maximum range. That's true. But I can understand the desire not to just use it exclusively now. Well, sure. It does get me back to the cow, though. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go hit a campsite and rest up. Uh, next time on Endless Mode, we'll probably be working our way around nope, through this. Nope, something's happening. Mm. Yeah, it's probably the next boss room. Oh. Uh, I just saw the rumblies and I was like, oh no. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you later.